Gaza and settled Jews in a lot of the territory as well. Well, joining me now to discuss that in more detail is Yaakov Katz, the former editor of the Jerusalem Post and the senior fellow at the Jewish People Policy Institute. Welcome to the studio here in London. Um, we've been talking for weeks now about a desire from the US to broker some kind of deal. Um, what we heard from Jeremy there is the position that Benjamin Netanyahu is in with ultra-nationalists, he was saying just then, um, holding him almost his feet to the fire in terms of what 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 wriggle room he has in terms of accepting any sort of deal uh, as someone who covers israel what's your assessment of that well there's the political dimension regina and there's the uh, real dilemma here that israel faces on the one hand do we strive towards a deal or agree to a deal that gets back the hostages that is urgent we know that every day that passes there was one hot person who was missing today who was found to have been murdered on that day, that horrific day of October 7th. But the real dilemma, do we get back the hostages who is possible to retain, to retrieve today and rescue in a deal that but would see the end of the hostilities and the end of the war and keep Hamas standing? So I think that there is definitely the political dimension that Jeremy spoke about where these ultra-nationalists, those two far-right parties in his coalition, are saying that if you agree to such a deal, we will topple your government. Netanyahu has to take that into consideration. But there are also the real debate of what is right for the continued security of the state of Israel. And you talk about pressure uh, domestically, but also pressure internationally. You're hearing more uh, murmurs from the U.S. government and more pressure on Mr. Netanyahu to accept this sort of deal. No doubt. Look, the president of the United States, Joe Biden, gave that speech on Friday night. He revealed that it was an Israeli proposal that had been put forth. Israel had not yet revealed it, but the president exposed it because he wanted to put pressure on Netanyahu and push him into a corner to get him to potentially accept the deal. But I also think we can't ignore the fact that the president of the United States is also facing his own political pressure. So we can look at Netanyahu's politics, but there's also President Biden's politics. There's Rishi Sunak's politics. Everybody here is facing their feet are to the fire from their own electorate that they're both facing Sunak in just a few weeks and President Biden in just a few months. So where do you see this going then? Well, I hope, my personal opinion, is that Israel makes a deal. And I hope that Israel is able to get back those hostages because that's what we can achieve today. The victory over Hamas that the prime minister has touted is something that's very slippery and difficult to define because what does victory actually mean here? Hamas members will remain in the aftermath, aftermath of this war. I think we need to remove Hamas as the governing entity over the Gaza Strip. We need to cut off the supply line of weapons from Egypt to Gaza, which Israel has been doing over the last couple of weeks in that strip of land known as the Philadelphia Corridor in that area called Rafah. That's where they have those smuggling tunnels from Egypt into Gaza. But can we then help to create a new entity that will govern the Gaza Strip? It doesn't have to come from Israel. But together with our Arab partners, the Saudis, the Emiratis, the Egyptians, the, the Jordanians, and of course, the Americans, can Israel play a role in getting a new governing entity so that will not be Hamas? That could be victory, but it has to include the hostages coming home. So many challenges, aren't there indeed? Yaakov Katz, senior fellow at the Jewish People Policy Institute, former editor of the Jerusalem Post. Thank you very much for joining us. Do stay with us here on The World.